John Dark Kicks here, and uh, today I'm going to be going over my sneaker collection. So, I'm not a hype beast, I don't have Yeezys or Doc High Jordans, but keep in mind, I just started this year. I'm, um, I've always liked sneakers, but this is this year I took advantage when school started and had my mom, when, when we had to buy shoes, I just I had took advantage, let's just say. So, um, start off with these beaters. Um, Vans, old school, ultra cush light. They're really comfortable. Um, they're really beat. I need to clean these, as a matter of fact. Um, but really comfortable shoe. Um, if you want a simple, basic shoe that's comfortable, I recommend this Vans, old school, ultra cush light. Next up, we have the Adidas ZX Flux in the Northern Lights colorway. This is a really dope shoe. Um, this part right here goes in the dark, which is really cool. Um, really comfortable shoe. I use these when, to play basketball. And uh, whenever we go to parks or whatever, this is what I use. And then I don't use the clear boxes yet because I can't afford that. But this is what I use. I use uh, from Ikea. Scub. Really cool. It's like, um, I'll show you right now. It's these right here. It's like, um, it sticks on with Velcro. Um, they're really good. I, I actually prefer these, I think. Make sure it's centered. I prefer these better because it's cheaper. You get four for seven bucks instead of one for ten. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I see why you would prefer that. Here's a, a shoe that. A Here's a shoe that a lot of people make fun of me for. The Nike Zoom Air Zoom Telerius. Um, I want to get the, all the black and white colorway because these are more hard to rock. But I feel like those I could rock with some like, jeans and stuff. But these these are so cool. It's like a tennis ball material. I don't know if you can see that. Like a tennis ball material. Only thing is they get dirty really quickly. But that's the only problem I have with them. The sole is sick. It's like. Um, heat scan colorway whatever like all the colors of the heat spectrum I guess our advanced canvas highs um, really comfortable shoe I love these um, I'm gonna start getting more into these Hopefully, once I get my job, <clears throat> um, I'll be able to get it other, the other colorways. But I really like the shoes. I wear this with this jacket. Um, with like the subtle hints of red, like some black pants or jeans, like I did today. So, yeah. red advanced skate high eight. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Let me check. Sure. Skate high canvas red. Skate high canvas red. Then here, I'm sad to say, but um, these are my alternate fives. Um, I love the shoe, but I think this might be the last time I ever see them because I'm planning on doing a trade with somebody. I haven't asked them yet. Um, because he said to wait until he gets out of work for these to trade these for Carolina ones and I think he might do them because you know he signed up for a pretty good price and I was saying you know these are in good condition. The only thing is, it has like a little hole right here. But you know, I've kept them in good condition. So 
I don't know. We'll see what he says. So this might be the last time you see this on this channel. I don't know how that goes, but here's the tag, and uh, Jordan 4 Dunk From Above. This is a more recent pickup I got, the leather quality is A1 on these, um, they are a little tight, so I would say maybe go, for me, because I have a white foot, I would say go half sides up. Um, I really like the laces, they're kind of like a wax kind of material, <clears throat> really nice shoe, um, I usually wear it with like a jean jacket or a black jacket with gray joggers or black pants. I don't really like how they look with jeans. So. Done from above, of course. I really like the gum bottoms. Next up is some Eric Costin tubes. Um, I need some shoelaces. I took them out and put them onto a pair of custom that I'm making. And um, yeah, so now I can't wear these until I get some shoelaces. So Eric Costin two. I really like these shoes. I wear them more with like black pants, for, like um, kind of like a. If you want to be like more classy or whatever, I think they look good like that. So Eric Costin two. One of my favorite shoes in my collection, the Air Max 90 um, Premium in this colorway. I don't know exactly what it's called. It has like different materials. It has like um, um, suede right here. It's not buttery suede, but <clears throat> it's still good. Um, the back tab, it has like... Uh, I don't know what this material is called. It's like regular mesh, I guess. And then this material here is like a kind of like an elephant print, but not really. And then leather right here. But I really like this shoe. I wear this with some black pants. Um, I'll show you what shirt I usually wear it with. I usually wear it with this shirt, um, because until I get the other colored bands, you know, this is like the closest thing to pink I have, and it looks good, so, yeah, I usually do it with that, so, let me hang it back up. Alright, so now we're back, and, uh, next shoe you know is a Jordan it's all that matters it's a Jordan Flake 23 and like the white Oreo colorway I guess um, I don't really wear these anymore mostly because I feel like I'll get bullied but you know what I don't care anymore I'm gonna start rocking these I already have many outfit outfits planned with these so yeah Jordan Flight 23's really like them and now if I'm not mistaken they have the Jordan 4 bottom Notice that. Well, close. Pretty close. So, Jordan Flight 23 is in the white Oreo colorway. That's it. Next, we have a pair of Air Max 90s. Q. TVS, I think that's what they're called. Um, they're waterproof. Uh, they get creased really easily. That's the only thing I don't like them. That's why I don't wear them that much. I've only worn them twice, and that's how bad they got creased. But it's really cool. Uh, you get a lot of people turn their heads to see what is on your feet because they see this glossy, and then they see this. They're like, wait, what does he have on feet? So it's a Nike Air Max 90. Um, 
I didn't see it on there. QTVS, I think. Quote me on that. Um, I'll probably put it up on the screen somewhere. Um, the actual name. I'll have it for all those shoes. Then these are a pair of Stephen Janowski's Nike IDs that um, I got the outlets. They were all leather. I didn't realize that they were what was ID'd until I got home. It says Will on them, but I don't care. I still, I beat the crap out of these. Um, so, yeah. Stephen Janowski leather is pretty good, I would say. Um, the inside is like a weird, I don't know, it's like a, almost like a suede, but not really. And then a, like a brown gum bottom. Alright, so next we have um, my other collection that I have, which is um, jackets. So obviously I have this one that I have on, which is the Nike Wind Runner. Really soft material. Um, so my Nike, the back, the hoodie is a little weird, but whatever. And then we have an Under Armour hoodie. What the heck? Oh yeah, I have to put the zipper in string shoelace back in. So under armor hoodie X. And you have kind of like a wind runner trench coat from Old Navy. Um I really like this jacket. It's perfect for like winter and easy season. Um so yeah, it's like a navy blue. Whenever it's cold and I want to wear my fours, I usually rock it with this jacket or a black jacket. Or whenever. Then I have... Then we have a tie-dye hoodie buddy. You know, I got the headphones. Um, like a jacket, but it's like super thin. You can see, you can like see right through it pretty much. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but it's that. And then we have all gray essential Converse jacket. Um you know you can wear this with anything. So it's that. Then we have black denim, guess jeans, jacket is really heavy, I haven't worn it yet, it's a little big on me, I'm waiting for it to be really cold and for me to get some boots to wear with it. Then I know this is mainly a jacket but it's a vest, um, so yeah there's that. We have a Hollister. What the heck? Here we have a Hollister um, hoodie. I have no clue what happened on the back. It's like a weird stain. I don't know where it came from. Um, so, yeah, I think. Don't know where that came from, but whatever. So, yeah, here's the Hollister shirt. Red jacket. like an academic it's really heavy jacket so I rarely wear it. It seems like it's light but it's really not. Um got the patch on the back. I got the little sides like a track jacket but a really heavy one. It says um academics again. You get on the logo and my patch right here. I would like this like I think I need to start wearing it but I really don't know what to rock it with. Now that I think of it, don't really have anything with green or yellow or brown. I mean, I could wear the Northern Lights and the Vans, obviously, but 
There's that. Here's a Spider-Man. Um, another like varsity jacket. Then you have a all red Nike jacket. You know. Next we have an, uh, like another jean jacket with gray sleeves. A hoodie. This is one of my favorite jackets at the moment. And uh, this really keeps you warm. Here we have a black essential um, Converse jacket with the gray one. We have a all red again Jordan hoodie. Don't know why the sleeves are. Okay, so all red says Jordan has the jump in, has these cool little drawstring things, and then I think this is my last one. Yep. An all green Adidas windbreaker. If you guys know any place where I can get like windbreakers for cheap, let me know. I really like windbreakers. Next, we're gonna get into my hat collection. So let me move positions again. So those are all my collections for now. Oh, forgot. I also collect these things called Funko Pops. Um, on the side, on the side. Um, I used to have a channel about that, but I deleted all the videos. Um, I don't really want the people to know about that, but who cares anymore? I, I be you. Buy what you like. Be who you want to be. All right. As long as it's good and you're not gonna harm other people. So these are Funko Pops. These are the ones that I can't, don't have any space. But um, yeah, just look forward to those for a tour and the room tour once I finish painting my room and organizing it. So yeah, so this has been my collections, my hats, shoes, and jacket collection. Keep out for, keep look out for a vlog that's gonna be coming out soon restorations um, and uh, yeah if you guys want to send me anything like restorations or just fan mail um, link in the description and um, yeah uh, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter will also be in the description just you know, send me a DM if you have any questions you want to <coughs> just want to talk go ahead um, yeah so it's John Got Cakes